Hi, so this is uh, Wet'suwet'en Solidarity Rally in uh, Owen Sound, and I'll be uh, asking some people about why they have come. Hi, so, so you're here for, for the rally? That's correct, yeah. Yeah, so what are some of the reasons that have motivated you to come out today? Are you I'm, I'm, interviewing uh, me or huh? are you interviewing me or something? Yeah, yeah. Is okay. your name Logan? Yeah, I'm Logan. Hey. Hey. I'm Dave. Hey. Nice to meet you. Yeah. So, so did, did you want to mention uh, some of the reasons that no, you're here? Not really. But, uh, okay. Yeah, thanks for coming out though. Okay. All right. All right. Hi. Good. How about you? Good. Did, did you want to mention some of the reasons that you're supporting the Wet'suwet'en today? Indigenous sovereignty. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. <laughs> yeah, just here, kind of, uh, to get a 360 video of uh, our support. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Are you coming up tonight too to start Uh I don't have a vehicle. Some of us are offering rides if you're willing and able. Oh yeah. Uh, well, when is that? It's at 4:30. 4:30. Yeah, okay. I, I don't. Know, I don't know where that is. Okay. Six four three three. Yeah. Six four three three. Highway twenty one. Okay. So it's so it's four thirty until when? Um, I'm not sure. Actually, it's a march for through the reserve for an hour. We're gonna adding light refreshments. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll have to ask my wife. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I might come back to ask about that ride. <laughs> okay. All right. Hi. Hi. I was just uh, wondering if you guys want to share some of the reasons that you're supporting the Wet'suwet'en today. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, showing our support. You know, on sound here, it's it's a public event and. You know, <laughs> yeah. So, 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 yeah. Uh, I was uh, wondering, uh, what, what are some of the reasons that you're supporting the Wet'suwet'en today? Because I support native title and, and think that we need to recognize and that what's happening out there should not be happening. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, really, is solidarity. Yeah. Right, thank you. <laughs> right. Hi. Hey, Doug. Good to see you. How are you? Hey, good. It's just here. I'm glad you're fly, flying the, the, the Buddhist flag. Oh yeah. Th thanks. <laughs> thanks. I was here uh, interviewing people on uh, why they have come to help support uh, the Wet'suwet'en. Oh, well, that's easy. I, I, I was, I was uh, outraged when the RCMP went on. Mm -hmm. uh, I said, wait a minute, this is Canada. Yeah. We, don't, we, don't, we, don't treat, we don't treat things like that. And uh, so I, it was, it was un unacceptable. Mm -hmm. And um, I, actually, I actually am not as worried about that particular pipeline. Oh, okay. Because it can be converted to hydrogen. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, it's infrastructure that, you know, mm -hmm. you know, we can be part of the new the new energy system as well with that right. infrastructure. So, I, it's I, not as bad as the bitumen pipeline yeah. in my Yeah. In, in terms of e ecologically, but I heard that some of the concerns was that the uh, coastal gas link uh, has been associated with uh, murdered and missing indigenous women wherever they've operated before and now they're planning on operating right in the middle of uh, their sovereign territory which would give them access to a lot of uh, indigenous women and well well with, like so, so you often see remember the RCMP uh, arrested those women in the middle of a ceremony honoring murdered and missing indigenous women uh, did they? Yes, no, I didn't. yes, they did. Yeah, they uh, they were arresting them while they were doing the drumming and the singing, um, and so that's really unfortunate, kind of, because Justin Trudeau claimed that he was uh, not in support of genocide, that he was against genocide, or at least he admitted. 
that what was happening in Canada was genocide with the murdered and missing indigenous women. But now, uh, it, it, if he, he supports Coastal Link going through their territory, it seems like he's not really against well, it. Well, I think he might be. That's a pretty... It, it's just that's, that's a pretty broad extension. I think. Yeah. I think the key thing is that that uh, uh, you know the, the Wet'suwet'en have been trying for fifty years to right. to, to to resolve you yeah. know the unceded nature of their land yeah. Uh, yeah. through our system, and we yeah. haven't looked after them in fifty years. Mm-hmm. They asked for this particular pipeline to be moved. North, yeah. uh, uh, near the communities away, that it's actually serving, away from uh, culturally significant and environmentally significant lands. Mm-hmm. But given that it would cost more, it was refused out of hand, as if. Okay, I'm, yeah. I'm going to come for a hug and then I'm going to go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Good to see you. Yeah, you look like a rock and roller. Yeah, you totally do. You look like Steven Spielberg. Remember, I told you. Bad. You should um, be listening because I don't okay. know you. No, no, it's not, you don't have to. Okay. I said you, you can always play the mental health card. Like, play that and just say you feel safe with me. Okay. They laughed, but they probably oh. Oh. I know, that's terrible, but I do try to connect to each of them, and I didn't know it was such a... Hey, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. I, I was just over. interviewing people here to find out why they've come to support the Wet'suwet'en. Um... Because I think it's time for the colonial sort of agenda to stop. Mm -hmm. I think it's time that we come to terms with our First Nations and stop screwing around and and putting it off. For generations, I mean, these are the same battles that we've been fought in the 70s. You know, we're not that much further ahead. And um, it it just has to stop. I would hope within my lifetime, which won't go much longer, I mean, that there would be some rapprochement. I mean, Trudeau says all the right words, and let's get some action. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) I know! Isn't that awesome? I don't like this. Hi. Hi. Just interviewing people uh, about why they've come to support the uh, Wet'suwet'en. Uh, did you have any statements you would like to share? Mm, I'm just thinking this is a great gathering, a great uh, action. Mm-hmm. It's really important to have actions and reading the community. Okay. Uh, I know there's big actions. Um, you know, in Toronto and in Montreal and the big cities, but it's really important to have an awareness in every community, you know, of the injustices and the lies. Yeah. And, uh, so we need to keep resisting the power and privilege that uh, perpetrates these things. Mm-hmm. You know. You're right. And, uh, the, the wet sweat and is- issue is pretty straightforward. Mm-hmm. It's, it's their land, it's their territory, it's their country. Yeah. And they need to be treated you know, nation to nation. Yeah. yeah. Dignity and, and respect. Yeah. So not, none of this half measures mm-hmm. to say the RCMP are proposing this. Mm-hmm. It's not even their domain. It's the government of Canada needs to talk to the hereditary chiefs. Yeah. And so they, have, they don't need to negotiate. Because they're not a conquered people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
so they don't need to negotiate. You know, they can if they wish. Mm -hmm. If they're treated nation yeah. to nation with respect by Canada, I heard that they they were willing uh, if the RCMP leaves their territory because but it was conditional. Yeah. That's not a. And it's not even for the RCMP to make offers. They are yeah. their, their own nation, and mm -hmm. our federal government needs to. They need to start with a conversation mm -hmm. steeped in respect and uh, recognition of the actual law, mm -hmm. you know, international law. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, and the UN has uh, supported the Wet'suwet'en. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, they're totally within the law. They're acting totally within the law. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sorry. even the Supreme Court of Canada supported yeah. it, you know. Yeah, so, yeah. so you know, <laughs> yeah. a lot of uh, dirty dealings are being uncovered here, and it's great. It's mm -hmm. fantastic. It could be a new awakening for Canada. I, whole, I hope so. This whole movement that's happened in these few weeks. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah. great okay, work. Th thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you with? Just your uh, own, uh, we're with the Climate Action Team. Okay. In based in on sound? Yeah, yeah. It's a uh, Gray Brewstone Sound uh, Climate Action Team. Okay. We have a Facebook group. Yep. And uh, I'll be posting the video there. Is it related to Fridays for Future? Or uh, loosely, loosely related. I think we have some of the same members. Yeah. Uh, but, involved from 350 uh, group that was uh, here before? So it's quite possible. I know there were several groups before Climate Action Team. It started with the resilience film oh okay and uh by liz zetlin oh, and yeah. several and others John Anderson, yeah. yeah and uh then uh, it kind of uh, after the viewing uh, a lot of people came, came together to talk about it more and yeah. then we've had lots of panels oh, with council members okay. and all these other people have come all out all right good work yeah thank you <laughs> what's your name again uh, logan logan all yeah. right yeah. yeah i think i've seen you you were posting at the Facebook page for this group? Or? Yes. Yeah, okay. yeah. All right, yeah. nice to meet you. I'm Richard. Oh, Richard. Richard Allen. Okay, great. <laughs> yeah. I was just one just having a conversation. Thanks, Logan. Oh, okay. I was just wondering if, if you had a statement uh, about why you're supporting the Witsuwet'en. No, thank you. No, thank you. Okay, all right. Okay, that, that's fine. You, you have a good time. <laughs> all right. Okay, so it seems I have uh, interviewed most of the people that are willing to give a statement. And uh, that's enough for today. Uh, you have a great time. And uh, thank, uh, you know, I, I hope that uh, all things work out for the Wet'suwet'en people and that Canada becomes a nation that respects diversity. Uh, not just on paper and in words, but in, in reality. Okay. Bye-bye.